So we'll see what Leo's Joker or uh, God, this is gonna be annoying. Leo's we'll see what Wario. Leo, we'll see what Leo's Wario can do. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting one. I don't think I've ever seen him play this character before. I haven't either, but with as much of a combo-oriented character as he is, which you know Leo can certainly get behind. Yeah, definitely. I just think that uh, you know Leo, the way that he plays, he likes to edge guard a lot. Wario is just not really a character that goes off and gets people. Other than uh, you know, he can get get you with fair every so often, but he's kind of those characters. He likes to play those characters that have multiple edge guard opportunities. So, you know, he puts you off stage and then he kind of falls with you, throwing out back airs, just making sure that you cannot hold in. And then as soon as you start to, uh, you know, get put in the blender, oftentimes you lose your stock for it. Yeah, if you do have the bike, you are able to go for some of those edge guard opportunities, but you're really going to only get one chance, especially with the amount of just the protection that Gluttony has off stage with his Joker and Arsene. <laughs> what is he doing, dude? <laughs> he looks over at Gluto, smiles a little bit. Gluto's just head in the game. Accidental drag down up but he fell off of the platform, and that will be an invitation for the forward tilt from Leo. Look at this Joker, is pretty good, all things considered. Oh, down tilt dash attack. Not enough just yet. Let's see if Leo can get the ledge trap. Yeah, there it is. Occupies the platform well and gets that back air right as he wanted to shark through. Right now, Leo sitting at a bit of percent. Luto just uh, getting these confirms over and over again. He's able to put it on, but I, the thing is that this is Wario, right? If Leo knows his stuff, he can get one hit and take it as far as he's gotten so far. So, but at the very at the same time, for the man who's hit so many of these loft setups, you you have to be sure he knows how to avoid at least most of them. Yeah, that, the thing is, is that all he needs is that one up tilt, right? But as Joker, a lot of the time it doesn't feel like you're playing on people like that. There it is, gets the up air, doesn't need the up tilt, gets that too. Leo now with a stock lead and back into this game, but Gluttony still in the hunt without up air. Smooth in there. Leo, it just seems like he's uh, he's got the idea of what the combo is, he just doesn't have it totally dialed in, and it's to be expected. I mean, no one's really seen that this character. Both of them with the grabs there, but Gluto gonna go for the grab again. Drag down. It's another up air. There's the up B. E. Suddenly Gluto taking the lead in this one, but he's got the Arsene. This the thing about Arsene, right? Once you're in disadvantage with Arsene, it's you're just in such a worse position than you would otherwise be. You'd much rather have standard Joker here. Up, and we saw how Gluto terrorized offstage Joker and offstage Joker with Arsene with Wario's down air. Can Leo do the same? Yeah, now the Arsene's gone. Even if Gluto takes advantage, it's going to be hard for him to find this kill. Only 94% on Leo. He did get the one. Looking for that back air, down air. Not enough. Not able to get it. He wants that down tilt dash attack. There it is. Vision for it. I mean, if it works, it just plain works. Hey man, yeah, it's a good poking tool. So Leo gonna take game one in this reverse mains. We'll see if they stick it out or if they decide to switch it up at all. But uh, based on that, you know, Gluto's Joker really, really good. But yeah, okay, they're they're going back to the back to the origin on back this one. Back to the reverse reverse mains, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Double, double reverse. Yeah. All right, man. Back to PS2. We'll see if Pluto is going to be able to uh, get his patience game on. That's what he does best, you know. This guy, uh, he kind of just throws out hitboxes until eventually you uh, try to commit into one of them. And Wario just plays so safe. See how he's just up airing here? Like, it looks like that's something that you might be able to punish, but there's nothing that Leo can really do without positioning himself perfectly. Yeah, you can tell how many times these two have played each other. Gluto knows when to drift back whenever MK Leo throws out Neha. The down throw up air. How does jump? Definitely don't want to air dodge there in a lot of situations, so I understand that. It's just a rough 50-50 there for you. Yeah, a bit of a panic option. He's going to be caught in the lingering, he lingering hitbox of the AK on two. What? Who does jump back counter like that? Leo's crazy. world for a reason. And then 
to... Oh, yes, we take all of that Arsene. He just needs one hit. He gets hit. That's going to be the Arsene. He doesn't want it really here, but if he can take the advantage... This is rough. Yeah, okay. That almost killed, dude. Now that he's got advantage, he's in just such a better position just because of that. Yeah, whenever he just started to fill out the railing engage, you can tell Gluto regretted it immediately. That up tilt is actually going to get the job done and lay off an entire three stocks to one. He super baited out the jump there from him. He dashed in, dashed back, dashed in, dashed back, like he was going to do a grab or something soon on the next one, but then eventually he just runs in with the up tilt, calls out Gluto, expecting the grab, and then, uh, you know, takes the stock for it. It's going to be a... This will be rough. That's going to take the stock, though. Here versus the Command Crowd, he gets him out of there. Gluto finally on the board. If he can get another Waffle kill within the next minute or so, this is still not within Leo's grasp for certain. Ooh, okay. Not able to punish the counter, but uh, that's going to be big. That's not going to kill, though. Oh, that was... Okay, so Gluto recognized that he got our send and was like, oh, I need to get out of here. I'm going to get down here. Oh, uh, okay. Able to live. That's up on the shield. Certainly not down punishable. Tilt. So, he just, like, I, what does he do here? He's used the waft. Doesn't be enough smash. Doesn't look like he does gets to do anything. Yeah, that just looks so unfortunate for Gluto towards the very end. He was just sheer out of options, especially when it got the parry on the bike. And when you're in that much of a frame disadvantage, there's just nothing you can do except attempt to parry yourself. Hey, man, Gluto. We've seen this guy do it in the past. So we'll see if he can at least take a game here, or are we speed running all the way to winners finals? I mean, Gluto, one of a handful of people to have even taken a set off Leo in the first place. If he's done it once, he can certainly do it again. But down 2-0, -oh, this is going to be a monumental task. This going to be a big combo. That's going to be a lot of percent. Oh yeah, 70. Nearly filling up that rebellion gauge within 10 seconds or so. And there it is. There's the Arsene. This is not the position that Leo wants it, but now that he's uh, kind of starting to take the driver's seat a little bit, he's able to put on a whole bunch of percent. If he can get a kill here, this is going to be huge. This is a pretty bad spot. Bike in hand and throws out the counter, but it lingers. Great bait on those down tilts. Not going to kill with the dash attack, though. Arsene is gone. Yeah, Pluto fishing for some of these down tilt dash attacks again. Has to respect the Rebel's guard. Leo in a pretty bad position. Ooh. Able to get to the ledge. Yeah, that was a little bit of an overcommitment with that counter. Able to take that one and then counter the bike too? That's an inter interesting interaction. I actually haven't seen that before. That was so strange. He just stopped his momentum in the air and allowed him to get the counter out immediately after the Arsenalist down. Might have been a down tilt dash pack situation, but Bluto gonna eat that back here, and that's gonna be the first stock after he was able to put on such a good amount of percent. Wow, that didn't connect. Sitting at 188 though, there's pretty much not anything in Mario's kit that won't kill. Maybe it's just a raw down tilt, but he can get the dash pack right after. Yeah, he pretty much is uh, looking for that. All right, man, Gluto able to even that up just a little bit. He's still got the waft charging up. He just needs to get that one hit so that he can confirm it into that 70% that we saw earlier. Oh, uh-oh. Well, he's getting the fast falls. Oh, he gets the drag down? That's crazy. Yeah, we're starting to see the beginning of the infinite there, but able to escape. You have to be pretty Yo! Much frame perfect for that. And he caught the air dodge too. And you saw him counter. Oh my. He's just all over these falling aerials from uh, Guto. He's just got the perfect parries. He's got uh, the Rebellion coming out right away. Rebel's Guard coming out right away. Perfect timing. Oh my goodness, dude. He knows exactly when Glutony wants to fight into him. Yeah, any sign of aggression is just an immediate... It's like a, the bat signal for that counter. You can tell it's coming right away. And That's with that missed waft, it just became 10 times harder. Yeah, and that, like, that kind of thing, that feels like that's it. That feels like that's really the game. But, you know, Pluto, he's so good. Maybe he can bring this back, but he is fighting up against the best player in the world right now. That's a lot of percent. Black and Hand just throws it straight up this time instead of forward. Okay, that was really, really good, because you knew that Leo wanted that Rebellion Gage just because he's so close to having Arsene. Able to get those grabs. 
babysat him a little bit too long there, but yeah, Leo, he, he's looking to fill out that Arsene gauge, and Buto all over that, ready with the command grab. And now we can see some of these air strings going, another consecutive up airs, three in a row. That'll force out Arsene. And that's a quick 70. Buto not in the worst position right now. He doesn't have the walk, he might have a half walk soon. He wants to eat that bike so bad. I think more than anything, he just wants the bike gone so he can extend something off of it later. Uh-oh. The up throw, look for the up air. There's the... Uh, is that the Aegon? Is that what it's called? It's the Aegon. It gets him right off the top. And look at the meter. Arsene was gone. Half a second later, and that would have just been a simple Aha. Luto would still be in this game, but Leo, in the nick of time, gets the kill. Leo gets those, man. He always gets those, like, that much left of the Arsene bears. That much left of the Arsene side piece. So, you know, good stuff to him. He's going to be going in to winner's finals up against Tweak. And we'll see if Tweak stays true to the Diddy Kong or not. Yep. Uh, and we are going to be right back. We're going to go to a very, very short break. And we'll see you in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.